What's up my friends welcome back today we will show how to run the watt clock without any batteries what yeah it's real let's go and see what the video graph is like first we will take the watt clock and see the battery case it's mentioned 1.5 volt yeah you know 1.5 volt battery hmm current this is a battery but today i am not use this battery because i can make circuit for the 1.5 volt output to the clock so let's create the schematic diagram first First to understand the circuit, it's really easy to understand, you know? After circuit is completed, let's see what the components have to make this. We can use three components only. Mm, yeah, only three components to make this. BC547 NPN transistor. Two number of 10 kilo ohm resistor and some jumper wires and if you have any old mobile phone charger that's indicate 5 volt output and you can take the charger below 1 ampere The transistor have 3 pins, first pin is collector, center pin as base and last pin as emitter. Let's solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor to the collector and base of the transistor. And another 10 kilo ohm resistor connected to base of the transistor like this. Next we can solder some wire for output voltage, one is positive and another one is negative. The charger has been also two leads, negative wire connected to output negative wire, positive connected to the collector of the transistor. Mm, yeah, finally circuit is completed. Let's check the output voltage of the circuit and also for the AA battery. The voltage of the battery is less than 2 volt. And the circuit's output voltage accurately 2 volt. It's not a matter, don't fear. 
the clock has been run with above 1 volt and below 2 volt and that's it oh my god you know electricity has been shut down the clock does not work surely after electricity can come if you change the time and use it if you want like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell notification stay safe stay tuned bye bye see in the next video